Hello, my Poke people. I'm Poke Lady K. Welcome back to the Poke Retreat. It has been a day because we have been going through the Poke Closet and wow, the stuff that we forgot we had. We've gone a little Costco crazy over the last couple of months. So here's one of the sets we found. Unfortunately, you can't get them at the Canadian Costco's any longer. They are completely sold out. It seemed as soon as we got some, they were gone. But that doesn't mean that we can't share it with you today. So grab a snack, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Share with a friend because we got some Costco tins. So here we go. We have our five pack of tins and we have our four specialty cards. Uh, these specialty cards are not Black Star promos. Unfortunately, they are our regular cards from different series, but that doesn't mean that they are any less wonderful to have. So let's crack this thing open and we're going to see what packs are inside. Costco run, huh? I'm going to get a little pocket knife like Pokerev because those things are hard to get into and I feel like I'm breaking my fingers sometimes opening those boxes. Here we have our loose non-black star cosmic hollow cards. So you can see the cosmic there. Got Cinderace, Inteleon, Dialga, who's a favorite around here, and Rillaboom. And then we have our tins. So we've got a Galarian Farfetch'd, Toctricity, Galarian Obstagoon, Dragapult, and Galarian Rapidash, which is one of my favorites of the Galarian set. All sorts of My Little Pony vibes, like the Keldeo. Can you blame me? I love My Little Pony. Alrighty, so we're gonna crack these guys open and we are gonna see exactly what's inside. I'm gonna see if I've left myself a pen or a niblet of something that I can get these open without breaking my fingers. Ta-da! You'll definitely know when you're getting your Costco stuff that somebody didn't open them and return them when they are the super tight, cannot slide it off plastic, okay? Starting with Galarian Farfetch'd. We got our, looks like a Raikou coin. Now, some Costco's are aware of this, some of them are not, that people will buy these Costco sets and they will open them attempt to reseal them in some way or another and then return them because Costco will take anything back. So when you are doing your purchase, do you do your due diligence on the packaging. Make sure we are talking nice and tight, no extra glue, nothing else is going on. And if you find out that your packs were one of the ones that was opened, take it back. Costco took it back in the first place, take it back. Don't be afraid. I'll hold your hand, it's okay. Hold my hand. Each tin has one Evolving Skies, woohoo, and one Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike, we are hoping for that super choice alternate art, Gengar. Evolving Skies, we are definitely hoping for one of those VMAX alternate arts because those are so boss. So boss. So not too many pulls that we can get. Ooh, a hollow toxicity. Ooh, I've got a peek out. Oh, I missed that about the new Scarlet and Violet. I get fooled more often than not when we are pulling those cards and I see a shiny edge and it is not what I wanted it to be. Kind of like that Arctivish. <laughs> We've seen them a lot. Let's ta see what Toxtricity has to give us. Same thing, two packs, Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies. And we got a white card. So let's see what we got. 
Hanging through. Ooh, scent of scorch. Nothing else. Okay. Evolving skies. Ooh. Another white card. All right. Ooh, and that's a nasty edge on that one. Marmarola. Tropius. Boring. Galarian Obstagoon. I think they're all the Raikou coins. That's okay. Black card. What are we getting? Ooh. So in another video I was watching earlier, they were showing how to tell the difference between a regular pack and a resealed pack. Ooh, very nice Deoxys. And Grimmsnarl Hollow. So what you're looking for is you want to see these nice little crimpies up at the top here. So we see those nice little individual pinches. We want to see a tight back. Pretty tight here. Pretty tight here. And we want to see, again, those nice little crimpy bits there. If for some reason it looks like somebody took an iron to them, like they're totally flattened out, that is a bad sign. We do not iron Pokemon cards. You got a resealed pack. Sorry. It's not your fault. This is why we talk all the time about dealing with somebody you know or somebody who has a good reputation. If you are trading or you're selling or you're buying on these forums, Discord, and Facebook, what you're going to want to be looking for is people who have others who can vouch for them. It's a little hard in the beginning to figure out what kind of people you can trust. Drag pulled. Most places that you're gonna be hanging out with are gonna have a seller feedback area. So what that means is people have dealt with this person before and they're, they're doing okay. Not trying to pull anything over on anybody. So keep an eye out for those kind of areas. If you're dealing with somewhere and they don't have an area like that, you're kind of taking your life in your own hands. Go ahead and deal with something where if it doesn't go, Odrio. If it doesn't go properly, that you can get your money back. Facebook can't help you. Discord can't help you. But if you deal with something like um, PayPal, pay the extra 3%, do your goods and services. Because if the deal goes sideways and somebody doesn't do what they say they're going to, like not send it, or if something happens and the cards are not authentic, um, PayPal Goods and Services, eBay, they're gonna help you out with that. They're gonna help you deal with it. They are going to ban a seller if that is the case, if it uh, keeps going on. We have an eBay store, it's on our description. And we really try to keep it clean, have great cards to sell. A lot of the stuff that you see us pull here does go on our eBay store. So if you see something that you really like, um, it may be up on our eBay store. We're going shopping. Oof. White card. So don't forget, if something goes 
sideways, you do have options. You don't just have to accept the fact that somebody sold you something that was kind of garbage, resealed, fake cards, damaged cards, when they were supposed to be mint. <sighs> Well, here's our last one. You guys are my good luck. Ooh, wait guard. This looks like the last of our Costco for today and it doesn't look like they're gonna give us, nope. Nothing good, unfortunately. Aww. That was quite the trip to Costco, guys. I hope you grabbed a hot dog because those things are delicious and very inexpensive. And we will see you next time. Costco really sealed these goods, so... You're gonna have to give me a minute. Today's random tool of choice is a... ancient, ancient airmiles card.